Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to become good with the frenzy. So the most common thing that I hear is people saying that they don't understand the frenzy. They think it's too RNG and while there is a degree of RNG with this gun, what you have to remember is that this is the case with every other pistol. Sheriff is probably the pistol with the least RNG, but if you ask me, the ghost and the classic can be just as RNG as the frenzy. Now, the key to be able to use the frenzy in a good and impactful way is positioning. This is a gun that shines in certain maps and certain areas of sad maps, at really very close ranges. This is not to say that sometimes stuff like this won't happen though. And I get it, it's clips like this that shows how random this gun can really be. One thing I always notice about the frenzy is that usually if you don't get the first headshot thing, you are most likely not gonna get the kill. So when using a frenzy you gotta really try to get the headshot in first and then finish the enemy off. Now one thing I'm gonna talk about is, and some of you might not like it, but I'll still say it. Sometimes especially in very close range situations, you can and should run and gun with the frenzy. If you can master this, you can absolutely not only win more gunfights with the frenzy, especially in pistol rounds, but you will absolutely tilt your enemies, and as you know, a tilted enemy is an easier enemy. And this particular strategy that I just told you guys is very effective in pistol rounds. Because let's say your enemy has a ghost or a classic, if you run and gun him, it will be extremely hard for him to even shoot back at you, because you have the fire rate on your side and you're running and gunning. So make sure you hit the first shot, so you dink your enemy with the net shot and then it's game over for him. Also guys, while the frenzy has all these benefits that you can use in your favor, let's not forget that you can run out of bullets really quickly, so this is a gun where your aim and mechanics should really be up there to be able to take advantage of this weapon. And I made videos on that, so you can check them out. But yeah, if your aim is lacking, you're gonna find that you're gonna run out of bullets way too quickly, and then you're gonna be one of these people that say, Oh man, I don't understand the frenzy, the frenzy sucks, blah blah blah. And on the other hand, let's say you happen to ding your opponent, but he has armor, and you have to ding him again in certain situations. Your movement needs to be good, and so does your positioning, because you need to be able to reload without him being able to shoot back at you. But anyway, I would hope that every player that actually takes Valorant serious is working on his mechanics and aim. Because, in my opinion, that's the most important skill set. Another tip I can give you guys is, if you happen to face people from a more medium distance, please do not spray. Keep doing small bursts trying to hit the enemy's head, and honestly just spray, because it's really not an ideal scenario for the frenzy. Needless to say, if you happen to be in a situation where you're lurking behind someone, just take your time, tap to the head and finish him off. No need to spray for the body and risk the enemy to turn around and kill you. Trust me, it's embarrassing. All in all guys, there is really not much more that can be said about the frenzy. Like with anything in the game or in life, you have to do it more, more repetition, more practice and over time you get better at it. It's that simple. After a while you will develop a feeling and sense of when to use the gun, where and how to. If you have more questions about the frenzy, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. You can also join my discord server and interact with me and my community. Ask me questions and stuff like that. That's all I have for you guys today, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, Reina.